I saw there. I can't see him now. Who is that man? There's a brother there. There's a group of people that are supposed to be meeting with you. Yes. Brother, there's a group of people, of business people, that are supposed to be meeting with you. You hear me? Yes. yes. There's a group of business people that are supposed to be meeting with you. Yes. Don't take this thing very light. Uh, God is about to bless you. Amen. You hear me? Yes, you know, because this is also mining. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, there's a mining meeting yes, uh, that is coming. Amen. Uh, don't undermine it. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanilisa. And stand with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Sumono, who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Lebohang and I'm from North Riding. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yeah, he said um, there's a group, there's a meeting with a group of people that I must not take it lightly. And it's also about mining and God is going to do something with that mining. I mustn't take it lightly. Is it something that you are aware of? Yes, definitely. Um, we have been working on some mining opportunities uh, in the last few weeks with my brother. Yeah. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you regarding it? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, one, the warning to say I must not take it lightly. Uh, but number two, that God is confirming that I'm on the right track with, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. My, my sister, you went to write something, but when you reached there, your mind was blocked. You know, yes, and, I, uh, I, I faced a challenge, yes. You went to write, because I see you writing. It's like an exam, yes. but when we read there, something blocked your mind. Yes. Today, I want That's to pray for you. I want to tell you, you'll make it. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Mm, these demons of your village, they must leave you. Come out! Come out, you demon! Yeah. Out! Oh, you demon! Uh, I want to. The man who's waiting for money, come here. This man, come here. Who's waiting for money? Yeah, you, sir. This man who's waiting for money from the bank, I want to release this money. This money, this bank has been going up and down. Amen. Amen. You know, they are, they are not giving you an answer you're looking for. Amen. So I want to tell you today, this money is released. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Bring him. Your money be released now in Jesus' name. Bring him for the last time. You are free. There's, I pray for you. I see a woman who's wearing something here. Do you hear me? Something I don't want to mention. Uh, where you're working. Yes. Mm. There's a woman who's wearing something that is shining. I know, huh? I know her. You know her? Yeah. That woman, she's a problem. And today, I want to close her mouth. Amen. Amen. I want to close her mouth because she's thinking this shining thing is protecting her. There's only Jesus who can protect people. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on. Jesus, my tenant. This girl is very young for the spiritual husband. Come on, you demon. Come on. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Hallelujah. Yeah. This lady, lift that lady up. Lift her up. Sister, look here. This spirit has deposited something there in your stomach. You hear me? There's something moving there. Bring her out. Bring her out to receive prayer. You must get a house. You must... Get out of your mother's Asma. house. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Agnes Maswangani. I'm coming from Norwood, Johannesburg.
today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. The Prophet says I've got a problem in my stomach and I was experiencing a lot of things but I didn't know that I'm having a problem because I was feeling pain always on my left arm. So I, it's, it's been long actually, the, that pain. I was having that pain so long. So I didn't know where am I going to get healed. Mm -hmm. So I think now today I'm healed by the name of the Lord. Amen. And how has this pain affected you? It, it's been long. I don't know how when. Has it affected you? It was so painful. Mm. It was so painful. Sometimes on my left side, I feel like I will be having a stroke. And uh, two weeks back, next. this pain must coming from my back going down. I was complaining about my back and my back from the from my neck. How do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you? Now I'm feeling better. My my actual my the whole body it was painful and I was feeling heavy. So but now I feel so weak. I feel like I'm released. Amen. Sister yeah. what is this? Mm, you know her. Come on! I'm a promotion. I'm a promotion. Jesus' name. Jesus, my tenant. Jesus, my tenant. She's free. You, man, you. Come here, Mama. Come here. That lady. You also, come here. Jesus. You're free, Mama, sister. <laughs> Jesus. Mama, the house in business is not doing well. That's true. Do you hear me? Yes, that's true. You know, uh, I don't want you to give up. Yes. I believe there's a breakthrough that is coming. Thank uh, you, God, Jesus. God will give you clients. Amen. God will give you clients. God bless you. Amen. That lady, she's very sick. Bring her here. Bring her here. You're free, you're free. Yeah. This lady, come here. Take it to my, my wife is there. Take it. You are supposed to be having a car now. Where's Yo. your car? It's true, man of God. You know why I'm saying it's true? It's because when I go for an interview or I apply a big job, then the Laura could disappoint. So after this, you'll get a job you. and you won't finish a month and a half. <laughs> Great is coming because you are fighting a spirit of Amadlos. <laughs> Prophet TP Joshua told me. Prophet TP Joshua told you. Told me, you said oh you have a problem, God. two problem. Your problem is I don't worship so us you, and you, you don't you forgive. You went to Nigeria. No, it uh. is like last of last week I had a dream. You had he a told dream. me, he said, You, your problem, you don't forgive and forget. The second one. The idols, I even tell my you sister. Know, let me tell you, many people are thinking Prophet TV Joshua is there. He's not. <laughs> He's still around. I had a still around. again. You uh, said you, you are going to get a job. You are, uh, the job is done. God bless you. My life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Morendin Nemandi. Uh, I'm coming from Portia Glen. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. 
Uh, I would like to thank God because uh, Prophet uh, Andres came to me today. He said, you're supposed to, to have a car. Mm. And then I, I confirmed the prophecy because I confirmed the prophecy because she bring a short and chair for an interview, especially for the high uh, uh, position. The the banner's disappointment. Like it's either like in this school, don't submit a CV, then I can see those people like they want to hire me, but then I will have a disappointment at the same time. They will just say something to say, I your CV, what, 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 and then you forgot to, to submit this and that. And then I also confirmed the prophecy because there was a time where I had a dream. Mm. Prophet Andres pointed me, he said, You, you are going to get a job. So when he said, you are, uh, uh, You're supposed to have a car, then I started to think about the dream which he told me. And then also, uh, he's also as what the Baba Mbanga Mapungo are idol worshippers, which I confirms to be true, hundred percent true. Because um, last, I can't say last two weeks back, I had a dream. I saw Senior Prophet T B Joshua. So he was ministering to people. He came to me. He said he was telling everyone his problem. He said you. You, your pro you've got two problems. Mm. The first one, you, for you, you forgive, but you don't forget. The second one, the idols. Idols are the one that is giving you a problem. Mm. So I even tell my sister to say, I, I had a dream. Prophet T. Bishop said, my problem is I forgive and I forgot. I, I forgive, but I don't forget. And it's true. If you can do something to me, for ten I, can, I will tell you you have done this. And idols... Again, there was a time when I was supposed to be a Sangoma, but I refused in that dream. I'm, I'm confirming a prophecy to be true, hundred percent true, hundred percent true. Yeah. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and Minister Apanyela? To be honest, I'm happy because I used to ask myself. I saw Prophet uh, Andres prophesying to me when this is going to happen in physical life. To say, you know what, you God will bless you with a job. So. I am so happy. I'm so grateful to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Take it, Mama. Mama, these people, uh, forgive them for not treating you right. Uh, I want you to remove these managers from your heart. <laughs> Thank you hear me? Yes. It was why your heart is occupied of your managers. Yes. Uh, because they've been promoting wrong people. Forgive, forgive these people. Amen. Your time to be promoted. I want you to be on top of them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you know, can I, let me tell you something. There's a brother here. I don't know if he's here. He came to me. I said to him, God will promote you. God did it. He came to me and said, in secret, they said, no, God promoted me. I said, no, 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 no. The promotion you got is not the one. Because the one is still coming. He said to me, but which one? Because this one is above all promotions. I said, that's the one. So he said, but I have, uh, he said, the what? Is the CEO. I think he said CEO, right? Oh, the CEO is. He said, no, above me, there's a CEO. I said, that CEO, he will be removed in the name of Jesus. Uh -uh. That man, he come to me, he said, oh, that CEO decided to resign. <laughs> when I when I to be Jay, saw it. So, he was, he reported to me on Sunday, he said, you know, prophet, that CEO resigned. He said, hey, now I'm afraid now. I said, what's wrong? Because whatever that you said, now is happening. I said, that position, it's yours. From there, you know what happened? He came to me after a week. He said, God has done it. <laughs> Mama, God has done it. you people. Receive your job, brother. Receive your job. Receive your job. Receive it. Hey, receive your job. Now, in the name of Jesus. Receive your 
car now. Now, now, now. Receive it now, now. You're blessed. There's a lady who's trying to do business. You hear me? There's a woman, like your sister, who's trying to do business. Her things are not moving. Amen. They are going to move from today. Amen. Your life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Okay, my name is Dike Lady. I'm from Pretoria. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, the man of God said that there's someone that I know that looks like it's my sister and she's trying to do business and at the moment the things are not going well. And then he further said that from now on her things will be established, yes. Amen. So I confirm that to be true because I have a sister who's in business. Actually, she started in August, but then things haven't been going as she had planned. But I believe as the man of God located the issue, her issue is settled. Amen. How do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located your sister through you? Okay, I'm actually happy for her because I know a victory for one is victory for all. So I'd like to thank God for locating her issue through me. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Take it to my wife there. Take it there. Today, I want to go to reverse the curse on your sisters. You hear me? No? You can't hear me. You are a demon. I don't want to hear you. You don't want to hear me? Mm. Because you are a demon. Yeah. Huh? Because you are a demon. You are a trouble. You huh? are a trouble. I can't hear you. You are a trouble. You are troubling us all the Who time. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> why do you want to know? Huh? Why do you want why, to why know? Why are you troubling this family? <laughs> huh? Who are you? Why do you want to know? Who are you? Speak. Why do you want to know? Why do I want to know? Yeah. Why do you why want to you know? Why are you troubling this family? It's not your problem. It's not my problem. doing here? What are you doing? <coughs> Death on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? I'm sick. I'm seeing a spirit of death on you. Yes. Brother? I'm sick and the whole were you, body. Were you in the hospital? Yes. Yeah, because the minute I touched you, I felt very sick. I'm very sick. Huh? I'm very sick. You know, whatever that is happening to you, don't tell your people. You hear me? Yes. Because things, the issue of marriage, this, that, uh, now you are attempting to try to get a car. You are not well. So, but today God will set you free. Yes. You hear me? Yeah. Mm, I don't know why I touched you. That's why I came back. Felt very sick. You are free. You are free. You won't go to hospital again. You are free. Your child is free today. Where is your child? Where is your boy? Your child is free today. You hear me? Because even in the skin... Yeah. Issue. Yes. You know, I see you applying some things on him. That's uh, true. Like a cream, something like that. That's true. So uh, that boy will grow up and be fine. You must Amen. not be worried, no? Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Can you pray for him? Hello, Asma. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Boitumelo Maja. I come from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He told me that my son, normally he has a skin issue, which is true. Because sometimes he's fine, sometimes he's not. There are things that just appear on his skin. So I've tried everything, gone to the doctors, they just gave him creams, but they don't work. And how has that affected you as a parent? It's too much because I spend a lot of money. Whenever it starts, you need to take him to the doctor, and three weeks doesn't last, so it's a lot. And how do you feel that Prophet Andrews located you and assured you that he's going to be fine? I'm happy. I'm really happy and relieved. At least I won't be spending too much money again.
Verse 3. This leg, you demon. Come on. Out. What are you doing on this leg? Huh? What are you doing? Take it to Your sister won't die, huh? You hear me? Your sister won't die. Amen. You know, because people that wish to, they are from where she's working. You know, they don't want her to work again. So your sister will leave. Amen. I say, your sister will leave. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You hear me? Amen. You hear me? Amen. She's free. That, that spinal cord problems is done. She's free. Huh? You are insulting me. What's that? Hey, bud. Me, I'm just a useless person. If you insult me, you say this. You are insulting me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What you have done to her, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. I say I reverse it in the name of Jesus. That lady will live. I say she will live. She will live. She will live. She will live. 